feels like it belongs here. Now we're going to the Christmas box. I have scoured the internet for ones that I was gonna like. We were just at the grocery store and you didn't say nothing about pumpkin ravioli. <laughs> this delivery paper says antique white on it. <gasps> I found it. Morning guys. Welcome back to my beautiful kitchen. I'm gonna be saying that for a while. This is all in full effect. I think you may have seen this renovation video by the time you see this vlog because I'm almost done <laughs> with our DIY hood. It's in its sheetrock stage right now and I need to go pick up some supplies for this. Um, I already have the plaster and that's fully the direction I plan on taking it, but I also need some trim. This is kind of the stage that I'm in right now is that I want to finish out this bottom edge and the kind of like the lower foot of this hood is going to be like more like decorative trim and then the top is going to be plaster. So I keep all my samples of like trim that I use all the time and then where I bought it from and how much I spent on it. This is just a corner trim. It slips right onto a corner and it can finish it out. So I'm seeing if this is gonna work. It looks like I need a little bit bigger than this. This looks like half inch. I would need like three quarter or a full inch or so corner trim. And I want something decorative to go on top of it, but not, not this. So I'm gonna look at what they have to go on top of it. And then I, got this sample and it did not write on the back of it. This is crown molding, but what I want the look to be, instead of doing the crown molding coming across from the cabinets onto the top of the hood, I actually wanna just drop the crown molding to that foot up on the hood, but obviously can't use our seven inch, it's huge. So I got this one a while back because I was like, oh, this could be a great option. It's only a five or four inch, so I'm thinking we can do this one. I need to measure how much surface area I have here to how much I need to buy. I just have my tape measure. Okay, so we need... I think I can get by with eight feet. I think eight feet will work. Eight to nine feet, maybe nine feet. So I'm gonna bring these samples with us. Also, I'm gonna stop by that little cute store and I wanna see if they have the fox still because it matched it and I just think I need both of them. So I hope they still have it. I'm just gonna keep them here for now that we can style them on the couch when you know that's all done and this is all decorated. Just so you guys know, this is just like randomly placed things. It's just how we're living with the living room for now until we finish the kitchen, we finish the paved walkway outside and then we move into the living room and start working on this makeover. Kitchens have a lot that happens, you know, cabinetry, trim, lighting, the island, a lot of building and a lot of my attention went into the kitchen. And now that we're nearing the end, that's really exciting. So we're gonna be moving into the living room next. So let's go see if they have that. Um, oh, oh, she looks so cute, wait. <laughs> Why are you the most precious thing that I've ever seen? What do you have? What do you have? What is that? You gonna give it to mama? Oh, she's got a rolled up piece of tape. Give it to me. She's not gonna give it to me. Okay, we arrived at the little shop. Let's go see if the fox is there. Wish me luck. I, I hope he's there. She did say that, the, I didn't know that their other store was in our town. 
so I'm gonna stop. Oh, we'll stop right there on the way back. I don't, I don't remember what time they closed though. All right, well, it's not a complete no. So we'll try that other store to see if they have my little foxy. Um, now we're at the thrift store. I used to come to this thrift store all the time, Faith and Funky. Um, and then I just never come to this town, so it just never crosses my mind to come. But they, my mom saw on Facebook that they had a Christmas box building that they built for Christmas things. So we should go, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right? Yeah, okay. Literally have not been here in forever. Looked at the um, everyday stuff. Didn't see anything I had what? to have. What? Why are they talking to me? No. <laughs> now we're going to the Christmas box. Ooh, look at this bed. Christmas box. Oh my goodness. Christmas. Hey, look at these to put along the pathway, like Cheap. up to the front door. Yeah. Right, 50 cents. Cheap. There's actually a lot of Christmas stuff in that, they call it the Christmas box, is like a, is that like a cargo container thing? Like a truck? The yeah. back of a 18 wheeler truck kind of thing. Um, so I just got these. So they're stakes. And then you put your light, the Christmas light, on them. And I bought 50 of them. I thought that would be cute, like along the, the pathway, the walkway from the gate to the front patio. Uh, so we can get some bigger lights for that. I thought that would be cute. I got two packs. And then I got this ornament, actually for my mom, because it's my brother's birth year and it looked kind of like French country. It's 1977. And look at all those little, little babies on it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I thought that was cute. It was a dollar. That's all. But there was a lot. I feel like I could have spent a lot of time in there just like looking at everything, but it's hot. <laughs> so it doesn't really feel like Christmas. I think these would be good like decorative pieces. I think this might be too small, but we'll try both. And of course I forgot the samples, but I think that this is the crown. That we need. My mom has been in Louisiana for like, how many days? Nine days? Nine. She's back. She hasn't seen any of the kitchen updates either. What is Grandma that? I sent you a prize. Hi, mama. Steps. I'm sorry, I've been a little busy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's very tall. <laughs> it is very tall. Well, mine's that tall, but yours looks taller. Maybe because it's a smaller footprint? My granny sent me ornaments. I was FaceTiming her. Let's see if she answers. Oh, they're so pretty. Hello? Well, hello. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am good too. Mom said I got presents. Well, I want to do that um like Victorian overfilled ornament on every branch kind of Christmas this year. So these will be perfect. Well, good. They're so pretty. They look so vintagey and cute. Yeah. So cute. I love it. Thank you. That was so sweet of my granny to send me those. I'm, I'm really excited because Christmas this year is, is definitely going to be abundant. And I feel like that's the best way to describe just the look of it, like the ornaments. That's why I've really been trying to collect ornaments from thrift shops and estate sales that are, um, you know, 
25 cents, 50 cents a piece so that we can really have a vintage Christmas in a big way, but without, you know, spending a Norman leg. So I feel like today's like Christmas. I got another prize. Caraway actually sent me something new. And you guys know that I love our Caraway pans. I have them here and in LA. I have the cream set, nonstick collection. I love that, but they came out with a new mini, I don't even know, mini collection? They're like mini pots. I'm excited. Oh, two boxes. It's a little. Oh, I like their little bags that they have now. It's a little. Oh, thank you guys so much. That's really amazing. You know, for all of the cooking that, that I personally do, meaning Romeo. <laughs> this is another little. They also have different colors. I also saw, I really like the green color. But since we already had the cream, it was nice to keep it in the collection. The little. It's cute. Isn't that cute? Look with a cleaning eraser. Oh, nice. To remove stains, it says. That is adorable. So I was just reading about these and they just launched these today when I'm filming this for the first of fall and they come in all of their really pretty colors. And this was their most requested kind of mini collection, the mini sizes. So they have the mini fry pan and the mini sauce pan, free of PFOA, free of heavy metals, free of other PFAs. I didn't realize how that could be inside of things, which is scary. So it's a good thing I've been using these for a long time. They also have a non-toxic coating. They're non-stick with stainless steel handles and they're oven safe for up to 550 degrees, which is kind of crazy. So definitely check out Caraway. We have loved them. And I do have a code for you guys to get 10% off. So I will leave the link for you guys to tap in the description box. I'll leave them here for inspiration on what you're gonna cook me in these. You know? Pumpkin ravioli. And this little one? Yeah, all you need is that one. You just need a little, a little, okay. Make me pumpkin ravioli. You know what, I think we're gonna do that one night. Are we? Yeah. We were just at the grocery store and you didn't say nothing about pumpkin ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> so I have four boxes that I brought in from the Porsche this morning. These I'm hoping will work. I know the shape I like. Mm -hmm. I just wanna make sure that the color works. Now these are bar stools. I have this bar stool that I stole from my mom, but it's one bar stool. Stools in general, who can't sleep? My goodness, stools in general are very, very, very hard to come by in just one. I have collected a little, a, a couple of stools, but they're always different heights, different styles, different turned wood accents. I need four. They're, that's impossible. Unless I find the perfect ones at an estate sale, you know, sitting in a bar or something, and I have been looking. I ordered these. If the color works, you'll see them in the decorating video. But I need, to, I need to make sure they're gonna work because if not, I need to keep looking. Oh, they're lighter than I thought. Definitely lighter. I was hoping they were gonna be more of a deep, rich tone. In the picture, it kind of looked like they might be, but they're definitely more blonde. They look more like the floor, you know? So it doesn't have that same kind of warmth or contrast. But I'm, I'm very into mixing woods. It's just, I don't know if that's gonna be the right move. Okay, well, at least we know that. Anyways, I am gonna get changed because I wanna work on this up here. And also I need to paint another coat on there. And then I need to get started <laughs> on the face frames on that. And then I need to get started on this whole thing so that you guys have a renovation video to watch. Yeah, that's a lot. I need to get my bearings and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, I've definitely decided that those bar stools are not gonna work. It's the color. I remember I had seen some bar stools online. They were most like the one that I stole from my mom, um, but they were completely the wrong color. They're more natural and I do wanna keep, I just gravitate more towards rich wood. So I'm thinking I'm gonna order them and I'm gonna stain them. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little sample underneath, maybe the top of one, maybe ruin one to, you know, try it out but I'm gonna stain them darker because I've had a hard time finding the right color. They are more expensive than those though. They're $100 a piece and I need four. So there's that, 100 and something dollars a piece. But then we'll see what they look like when they're stained. Okay, I'm just coming from lunch and I wanna see if the shop has my box polo.
everywhere. She said they would be in this room if they were here. I've looked under, I've looked inside things. Nothing. Setting. You guys, good morning. It's been two days and I have, I come with exciting news because I feel like we were disappointed that we couldn't find the fox pillow, or at least I was. I don't know if you guys were, but I was. And then I was also disappointed in the stools. But today, all of that changes. I found, hold on, let me put you down. I found the fox pillow online. Well, I found both of them. So <laughs> this works out for all of us. I ordered it. I actually found it on Etsy. Let me show you. <gasps> I found it. Um, it's actually from a small business out of another country. Estimated arrival is October 6th through the 17th because I think they were kind of on back order for that company. That's still fall, very much fall. We still have all of October until Thanksgiving, even though I decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving anyways, but they have them, they have them. She's very cute. So there's, oh. Okay, there are two different deer options. One with a little, look like raccoon, and one with a little squirrel. I have the one with the squirrel on it, but they have all three. I'll put in that picture for you. I will link them. If you loved them as much as I did, you can get them. So my fox is coming. So we'll have it um, this year and future years. Also, we have exciting packages. The stools that I showed you guys that I was ordering arrived super fast. And I have scoured the internet for ones that I was gonna like, and I really wanted turned legs. So these are all I could find, and they were natural in color, but like I said, we can stain them. Honestly, that's better. I would rather find something that hasn't been finished and stain it to match or be custom and you know, like match perfectly. Not that you need all your wood tones to match. They actually look better when they don't. But naturally, different woods take stains differently. So you're naturally gonna have a variation. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Oh, and we don't have to put them together. Ta-da! I'm hoping that they look good because I didn't have luck on the last ones. And they came super fast. Looks promising. <gasps> okay. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of look vintage. They're gonna look vintage when I stain them for sure. Oh, you guys, look. Let's see what they look like inside. I love the turn wood. This is the one that I loved. But one, it's way too tall. Like I can't even, like I can barely get my legs underneath and obviously it's really wobbly, but it's really high. So it's not meant for here. And I only have one. And it's not even mine, it's my mom's. <laughs> so that's not. Ooh, do they look a little low? They're counter stools, because this is a counter height. Actually, honestly, this is a little higher than counter height because I made it that way, so it's easier on your back over time. Um, so it's, I think, 37 inches. No, I love them. I love them. We can raise them a little bit. You guys, you see, well, <laughs> for one, what they're all gonna be a little different. I think they're all handmade. One's a little taller. Um, I think it's not like nailed in enough or something. I can fix them. This is what they're gonna look like. Imagine them stained the same color as this one. So imagine this color here. You can raise them a little bit by hammering in some little feet. Also to help protect the wood floors as well. But they're really pretty and they're just natural. So we can do whatever we want to with them. I'm gonna try and sit at it. It's a little low, just a tint. If I can lift it like an inch, half inch, we'll see. We can, oh, this, this is where I've seen, I literally have looked everywhere to find one that I really liked. And these were like relatively like a nice price. It wasn't like two, it wasn't like hundreds of dollars per stool. So I think they're gonna be Great, so, so today I'm finishing up the hood. I'm working on just like little bitty details to finish up this Sunday's renovation video that will already be live when you guys see this vlog. So if you haven't seen the new renovation video where I DIY'd our hood for overall oven and we also got 
<laughs> it's sitting over here. We also got the prettiest oven that I ever did see, but not the oven that we ordered. It could have been worse. These ranges come in like a bajillion different colors from Holman. You can get them in orange, red, turquoise, shades of different colors. You can really, they're highly customizable and they're made to order. All of my paperwork leading up to the order never said white ever. It all said SS for stainless steel and brass. So the oven was going to have that brass too. It was just the base of it. The front was going to be stainless steel. So it was just this part, this plate and the front here that was going to be stainless steel, but brass was going to be here. Brass was going to be all here. So it was still going to be a unique oven and still have this look. Obviously it's the exact same style. I actually went back and forth between white and stainless steel when I originally made the order to myself, not to anybody else. And so none of the paperwork leading up to this stage had white on it. But what I've noticed, this delivery paper says antique white on it. And I don't know why. So that kind of cancels out the fact that maybe they just brought me the wrong one and maybe someone else got a different one. No, I don't know what happened. We're gonna see. I think they only, since it has stainless steel here as well, it doesn't bother me that our dishwasher is stainless steel. It's still gonna go. What does have me worried is the white sink, the pure white sink. So we have a farmhouse white sink and then that would be antique white. So that is for me problematic. Um, so we're thinking maybe an option is to switch out our sink and to a farmhouse sink that has more of a um, antique white look. You know, maybe in like a bisque color or, I mean, we can obviously explore that option because I do love that oven. It is, feels like it belongs here. Um, so we're, we're gonna go with it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I'm gonna continue to work on the kitchen and, and do some projects today. I'm just getting my day started right now. And I will see you guys again on Thursday for another vlog. Bye guys. I don't know if Kinsley wants to say hi to you guys or not. Or is she? You know, sometimes I think my shoes, my slippers are Kinsley. And I'm like, oh, is she underneath me? <laughs> oh, Kinsley, are you gonna say hi? She's being sus. She's being suspect. What's she doing over there? Exploring? <laughs>